Hey ladies, it's Deanna from thelivefitgirls.com and today we are gonna be doing a quick 15 minute ankle weight booty lift workout. So I am using a five pound set of ankle weights. You can grab whatever you have. If you don't have ankle weights, no worries. You can still do this workout with me. This workout is part of my app, The Fitness Collective, that has over 150 full length follow along workouts just like this. So if you like this workout, make sure you check out the app. There's a two week free trial down below. And this little 15 minute workout is part of a series that I am doing on the blog and YouTube and the app that is going to prove to you that you can get an amazing workout in, in just 15 minutes. So let's work hard and let's get started with a little warm up. So grab your ankle weights, get them on, and let's get started with a little warm up. So the feet are gonna be about shoulder width apart, knees and toes just a tiny bit turned out here. Hands behind your head right into some prisoner squats to warm those legs and booties up. So you lower down and then right back up, down and up. So nothing with those ankle weights just yet, just warming those legs up. Keep the weight back in the heels. Remember in these prisoner squats, you wanna squeeze those shoulder blades behind you. Get those elbows nice and wide, chest nice and lifted, core nice and strong here, abs engaged. Down, press it up, down and squeeze at the top. You've got five, four, three, two, last one. Bring it on up. I'm just gonna turn to the side here. Hands are still gonna stay behind our head. Feet just hip distance apart and parallel now. And then some good mornings here to warm those legs up a little bit more. You're gonna hinge at the hips right back up. So legs stay nice and straight, back is straight. You go down, hinge over from those hips, press those hips forward to bring it back up. Squeeze the abs, squeeze the glutes. So at the top there, those abs and glutes should be as tight as each other. Good, down, press it up and forward. So you're pressing those hips forward to bring you up, squeezing those shoulder blades back behind you, keeping the core as tight as a plank. Down and up, down, you squeeze, come on. You should feel a nice little stretch in the backs of those legs here too. So just really getting those hamstrings. Here's three. Come on, two more. Last one and up. All right, let's get into that ankle weight work now. We're gonna stay, I'm gonna stay standing to the side here just so you can see, but we're gonna be doing some booty lifts here. So you're gonna hinge just slightly over. Start on one side. We're doing two exercises on the same leg before we switch sides. So hinge slightly over here, reach the leg that you're gonna work back behind you. Hips are nice and parallel, you're gonna lift and lift. And if you need a chair here, you can always grab one. Keep that leg nice and parallel. You lift that booty cheek and squeeze to lift that leg. Core is nice and tight, find something to focus on for balance here. Soft little bend in that standing leg. You've got this. Four. Ooh, three, two, one. Hold it right here. You're gonna flex and curl and extend. Curl and extend. Again, grab a hold of a chair or the wall if you're next to it. Lower it, extend, pull in. <sighs> Try not to let that upper leg move here. So you're just moving from the knee towards the foot. <sighs> You've got it. Here's five, four. Ooh, that leg standing is on fire. Two more. Last one and down. Oh my gosh, shake it out a little bit. I should have brought a chair with me. This is tough, this one. Balance is hard on that one, especially when you got those ankle weights. All right, so shake it out a little bit. Come on over to that other side. So you're hinged slightly forward, soft bend in that standing leg. Just booty lifts with that straight leg first. Here we go in three, two, one. You lift and down, lift, down. So you're squeezing that booty to lift that leg up, stabilizing through that supporting side. Hips and shoulders are parallel to the wall in front of you or the front edge of your mat. You've got this nice and parallel through that working leg. Squeeze that booty to lift. 
We have those hamstring curls coming up in three, two, last one, hold it right here. Again, grab a wall or a chair if you need to, and then flex through that foot, curl it in, extend it out. Curl it in, extend it out. Find something to focus on. You've got it, curl. Curl, almost done with these standing exercises here. Core is tight, protecting that low back. Come on, just for five, four, you've got it. Three more, two more, last one, and down. Oh my gosh, killer for the booty there. All right, we're gonna come on down to our mat onto all fours here, and we are going to be doing little rainbows. So you're gonna be on all fours. The leg's gonna come up and over, drawing a rainbow shape with the toe and then switching sides. So from here, you're gonna work that first leg that we were working first. So hands right underneath the shoulders, extend that first leg out. And then from here, you're gonna lift it up and over and out to the side. Cross it up and over out to the side. Good. So you're drawing like a little half circle here, up and over. You're getting a little bit of inner thigh work as you cross a little outer thigh work as you open. Core super strong here. <sighs> Exhale to lift, control it. <sighs> nice job, ladies. Up and over. <sighs> You've got it. <sighs> Stay strong with me. Three, two, oh, it's burning. Last one, and down. All right, from here, kind of like a little donkey kick, but you're gonna cross it over, same leg that we were working. So from here, you're gonna cross it. You can either flex or point through the toe for this one. I like a pointed one for some reason on this one. You're gonna cross it over and up, over, lift over and lift, making sure you're not overarching that low back as you extend the leg up. Again, you're getting that inner thigh work as you cross over, outer thigh work as you lift and open out to that side just a little bit, <sighs> squeezing that booty to lift for four, for three, two, one and down. Ooh, my booty is on fire today. We are going over to that second side here. So the two exercises on that second side. Get yourself ready. Rainbows first here. <sighs> Hands right underneath those shoulders. So from here, extend that leg out straight. You cross it over, lift it up and out. Cross it over, up and out. <sighs> Again, focusing on keeping those hips as steady as possible. So you have that core engagement here. Those obliques should actually be working a little bit. <sighs> nice and controlled as you lift. Really engage those ab muscles to protect that low back. <sighs> you have five more neck right line with that spine. Here's four, three, come on, two more with me. Last one, and down. All right, those donkey kick crossovers, here we go. Same leg here. Let's go in three, two, one. You cross, lift, cross and lift. Ooh, booty is on fire. Lift, cross, lift. 15 right here. You can do it, I know you can. No locked out elbows. You've got this, come on. Five, four, three more, two, last one. Breathe, and down. Oh my gosh, okay, almost there. We've just got two more exercises on each side and then we're done. 
All right, lay on your side here. You can stack your hand, your head on your hand, stack your hips up, stack your feet up. And then from here, you're gonna just lift that top leg up. If you feel like that bottom leg's kind of in the way, you can always bend it. Might help you keep a little stable too. So that's just an option. So flex or pointed through that foot. Let's go in three, two, one, lift and lift. So you're getting those outer thighs, really targeting those outer thighs here, sculpting all those muscles on the outer thigh. You got it. So getting all angles of that booty with this workout. You have five, four, core is so strong here. Three, two, last one, and down. All right, now getting inner thigh. So you're gonna bring that top leg in front, foot flat on the floor. I like a flexed foot for this one, and then lift that leg up, up. So we're gonna work those inner thighs, again, just to really sculpt and shape the whole backside and booty. Lift, lift. Staying strong here. You have five, four, three, two, one, and down. Oh my gosh. Ooh. This is a tough, tough workout. But again, just proving you can get a good workout in, in 15 minutes. I promise you, you do not need to spend hours in the gym. All right, top leg first, getting that outer thigh work. Here we go in three, two, one, lift, lift. Doesn't have to be crazy high here. I want you to focus more about lengthening that leg all the way across the room and squeezing to lift up. Imagine you have a little mouse hole under your bottom oblique so you're not just sinking down those core muscles and abs are still engaged. Three, two more. Last one. Whew. All right, one more thing. We can do this. Top foot in front. Bottom of the foot is on the mat. Extend that bottom leg straight. Flex that foot and then lift. 15 right here to finish. Again, thinking length through that leg. Try to keep the hip steady so that top hip is back just a little, but you're trying not to wiggle too much. Focus on that inner thigh. Imagine you have a stack of books on the inner thigh here. Three more, two, last one, and down. Oh my gosh, killer, short but sweet. All right, you can take those ankle weights off so that you can really enjoy your stretch, put them off to the side, and let's stretch it on out. All right, we are going to go into a little double pigeon stretch here. So kind of cross your legs, one on in front of the other, and then take that front leg, you're gonna bring it on top so that the ankle is on top of that knee, and the other knee is right over that ankle and just hold it here. So kind of get the fleshy part of your booty out a little bit so you can get a little deeper into it. You can use that same side hand as the knee to kind of press into it to get a little deeper. If you're super flexible, you could kind of hinge forward here, whatever feels right for you today. Just imagine a nice long spine here and breathe. Amazing job showing up today. That's the hardest part. Once you get going, it's all downhill from there. And I believe in you, I know you can do it. Let's switch sides. Whew. Shake it out a little in the middle. Switch legs, bring the opposite leg on top. So ankle on that knee, knee right over that ankle on the other side. Again, kind of move the fleshy part of your booty. You can use that hand for a little extra intensity in that stretch and just breathe. Big inhales and exhales. Again, hinge it forward if you've got that flexibility. Otherwise, just sit up nice and tall, lengthen through that spine, focusing on getting those knees and ankles stacked. Awesome job, and then bring it on down. 
And that is it today, ladies. Remember, consistency is key. That is what is going to get you to your goals. It's gonna get you those results that you want. So remember, consistency is key. First and foremost, it doesn't have to be hours in the gym. You can do it in a quick 15 minute workout, I promise. I'll see you next time.